Okay, moving right along now, we're going to take a look at the spot prices for gold and for silver. Uh, there's been a lot of talk recently about gold and silver in the media uh, as far as price manipulation with JP Morgan and over at the Comex and all, all types of things. So let's consult the charts. Let's consult the post scan swing wicks and see uh, what is likely to develop over uh, the week ahead in trading being that we are now um, a couple hours into the trading session on Monday uh, this will be uh, fourth telling alright jumping right into just looking at a visual of the chart you see here that um, we, we've been in a nice steady upward trend here okay uh, we've been trying to break out trying to get up back to the, um, the 52 week high uh, that 52 week high is at 12.26.31 on the spot so we're gonna have to we have some some ways to go yet to get there uh, not too far ahead but still a lot of uh, a lot of air pockets of resistance along the way if you will so we have to be um, be on the guard for that we, we really don't know um, you know what's gonna happen here being that we already have broken out and the system is still just holding along here as you can see back on uh, 426 so we're just spotting our time on this one to see if uh, it's going to continue up or not those of you who are uh, long and following along with the Vulcan report uh, all my subscribers you're going to want to put your stop right below here which is uh, I'll put it like at 1160 just to be on the safe side and just uh, track it that way uh, those of you who are on the sidelines and looking to get long and make some money on this one, um, I would uh, go ahead and wait for the next signal. But if you if you must do a little something today, you can go ahead and put a ticket in and let it work at uh, 1185.52. If filled at 1150, uh, I'm sorry, if filled at 1185.52, uh, you're gonna want to let that uh, ride to initial profit target of 1205.33. Uh, placing your stop at um, 1148.51. All right, let's take a look at the technicals. Looking at the chart pattern, uh, during the past 10 bars, there have been six white up candles and four black down candles for a net of two white candles. During the past 50 bars, there have been 24 white up candles and 26 black down candles for a net of two black candles. Currently, the market pulse is positive since it's trading above its signal line. The pulse scan crossed below, I'm sorry, above the swing VIX five periods ago. The trend channel is up. This means that positive momentum is entering into the market. Uh, we expect sideways to higher prices within the next three to five days. So only time will tell if we get a continuation or not. Uh, one problem area is that the swing VIX is above 29. This is where it usually forms resistance. The swing VIX usually forms resistance before the underlying security. A buy or sell signal is generated when the swing VIX moves out of an overbought or oversold area. The last signal was oversold by 90 periods ago. The swing VIX has just reached its highest value in the last 14 periods. This is bullish. Since the swing VIX crossed its moving average, uh, gold spot price has increased 2.53% and has ranged from a high of 1181.55 to a low of 1134.88. The trend is very bullish and pointing upward. We are trading above um, the long term, intermediate, and short term moving averages. Uh, as far as volatility, uh, we closed below the upper band by 12.2%, leaving us 7.3% narrower than normal in the range area. 